Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin tonight with some positive news in the fight against COVID-19. An Ottawa made rapid test has finally been approved for use. The Spartan Cube promises to deliver results in less than an hour. It was touted as a game changer at the beginning of the pandemic, but there was a problem and it took months to meet Health Canada standards. As Abigail Beeman reports, it's one tool to fight what remains a major health crisis. It has the enzymes needed. To Redesigning the, the reagent testing solution took Spartan Bioscience longer than it hoped. Now it can be kept at room temperature instead of frozen, so it can be used anywhere. Rapid point of care, easy use diagnostics for COVID-19 will really alleviate uh, the spread of COVID-19 more than a central lab can do for a lot of situations. Health Canada has given the Spartan Cube the green light. The company says in large part because of a different, easier fix. The original problem was only with their proprietary testing swabs. We were using our existing swab that was made for to swab a cheek swab. It wasn't made to swab your nose and the back of your throat to get RNA or to get virus particles on it. So Spartan simply switched out the swab for a regular nasopharyngeal swab already on the market. It says it will start shipping out back orders to the federal government this coming week and provinces which ordered directly within a month. A separate hopeful pandemic sign, a drop in new COVID-19 cases nationally. We can breathe a brief sigh of relief. We are seeing numbers drop significantly in certain areas like Alberta and like Quebec. We're seeing numbers come down a bit in British Columbia and Ontario. Biostatistician Ryan Imgrund says that doesn't mean we can relax, especially when we don't know how widespread the UK variant is. I know this may come as a worry. It's our first exposure to this variant. Friday, Nova Scotia recorded its first case and one of the South African variant. Lab testing now confirming people who had it in December, while in Ontario. We're uh, in a deepening crisis. We have a, a resident die in long-term care every hour now. My hospital has been, you know, what we consider ground zero for COVID in Ontario. We, for actually a few months, we have been at capacity in terms of our, um, med our COVID wards, our medicine wards, as well as our ICU. And particularly a few weeks ago, we were transferring significant number of patients. Emergency room doctor Lisa Solomon is now cautiously optimistic. Probably the first time in a long time that I had a shift with no resuscitations and no really critically ill patients. Solomon says things may be plateauing after a big post-Christmas spike, but no one should let their guard down. Friday, the Prime Minister said he's sending two field hospitals to the greater Toronto area. Solomon says that's a Band-Aid solution, and what's really needed is the vaccine. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.